Guys, this may just save your radio. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. So we're here at Hamcation this morning, and I'm with Dan with Paradan Radio, and I've got a really cool little item that I want to introduce you guys to, because I'm assuming many of you are not uh, are not familiar with this product the same way I was not familiar with this product. Good morning, Dan. How are uh, good you? Good morning. I'm doing great. Super to be here. Glad to. Uh explain a few things so what i'm really interested in uh, and what i knew very little about before i talked to you is right. these antenna disconnectors yes what in the world is an antenna disconnector and why do i need one of them okay well everyone should have an antenna disconnector if you live in an area where there's lightning strikes and uh static rain static uh, clouds coming overhead discharging and uh, even even snow static Okay, and uh, what an antenna disconnector is, is that it keeps your antenna disconnected from your radio and grounded and just so that any uh, lightning surges that come to your antenna system through induction from a lightning strike nearby or rain static, it shorts that to ground and keeps it off, off the radio because you don't want your radio to be damaged on the front end by these lightning surges so, okay now this sounds complicated so i'm gonna have to do all kinds of things okay. and jump through different hoops and disconnect coax and all of that to protect my radio right that's that's what you should be doing okay but in this case some of us are somewhat lazy and don't do that so the idea is to have this happen all automatically so we have what we call an antenna disconnect device it's a very simple device it uses relays but it does the job correctly. And so I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pick one of them up. This is the antenna disconnect. It's a single device. It's a, I'll explain a lot about it, but first I'll show you how it works. Your coax from your antenna goes here. The coax here goes to your radio. You'll notice this coax is, is isolated right. for a reason, okay? And right now, this is not powered. It's in a relaxed mode. The relaxed mode is the safe mode. Right now, what is connected to the antenna side goes to the ground terminal. Now this ground terminal should go to earth. It should not go to the back of your radio, right to earth. Okay. Okay. And uh, it, it is not powered. The, uh, this, this powers it. It turns the relays on. But quite simply, how do you do that? Well, you just connect this to the back of a modern radio's 12 volt jack. Most radios have that. Okay. And you can connect it via this RCA connector or cut the wires off here and put them on your power supply. And when you turn either one of those on, and I'm going to demonstrate that right now, this is going to my power supply. So I'm going to turn, plug it in, and quite simply it turns the relays on and connects you up. So now I've got a path from the radio side out to the antenna. It's right. disconnected it from the ground. That's correct. Totally disconnected from the ground. No, not exactly. The uh, ground is still on the shield. Right. So the shield is grounded, but the center conductor is now connected all the way through, and the ground over here is connected to the ground of the uh, 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 of the system. Okay. So, so now you are totally connected up, but a lot of things are going on here, okay? Number one, there's uh, a gas discharge tube in here, like a polyphaser type gas discharge tube. So when you're on the air, if there's a spark that happens because of a lightning surge, it will short that out. So you have that protection too. Okay. okay? So that's what it does, a very simple device. Now but, that gas discharge tube, do I have to replace that if it's used to protect my device? Well, you should eventually, but don't forget the gas discharge tube here is never in the circuit until you're on. Okay. When it's in the off mode, uh, when it's in the safe mode, the gas discharge tube is shorted out. So most likely that gas discharge tube hardly ever gets to be used. Only okay. when there's a strike in the area. Okay. 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 Now, I'm, I'm curious. So I need one of these for every antenna that I've got connected. What if, what if I've got two, two antennas? Okay. Say one UHF, one VHF, and then uh, okay. my HF antenna. Okay. Well, so well, I'm going to have to buy two of these? No. First of all, this does not work on UHF. Uh, and VHF, okay, because the spacing of the uh, of the heavy-duty relays is, is incorrect for the proper SWR. 
So what you do if you have two antennas, well, there's many things that you can do, and I'll explain that in a minute. But what I've done when I've had this is I put my Alpha Delta switch that had f four antennas on it on the antenna side, fed that to here, and then this went to my radio or my power amplifier or my tuner. So now you can just switch between antennas I as the you antennas, need. antennas, and whatever antenna is on, or all the antennas, all the antennas through the Alpha Delta switch could eventually be shorted to ground through this in the safe mode. Outstanding. Okay, so that's how I do it. But we do have another one that has uh, additional stuff on it. I'll explain that in a minute. Okay. So uh, uh, this is a pretty robust device. Okay. There are two 15 amp contact relays in here, which means that you can use this up to well over over a kilowatt with a high SWR antenna. You can uh, and uh, it's in a waterproof case. It's in a solid metal case. Uh, and this works out to 54 megahertz. So that's all, all of its features, but it's made to work very, very well for all radio sets, including the, all the remote stations. They really like it because they can turn their radios off and their antennas are disconnected and grounded automatically. So that's a great advantage. All right, now, now I'm assuming you outsource all of this production to China, right? No. No? May, no. It's made in my backyard. I've got a, I've got a building <laughs> behind my house, and I've got retired amateur radio operators from the all, all the NASA guys back there helping me out. So completely made in your backyard with other hams. That's correct. Man, that is Every, awesome. Everything's made by ham. No, my wife's not a ham, and she stuffs parts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so this uh, so this was made, and I sold an, an awful lot of them, especially in Florida because someone told me Florida has lightning strikes. Really? Right. I did not know yeah, that. Yeah, well, I learned it. Kind that, that, that's interesting. Here. That's correct. <laughs> so, 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 so then I have these guys that say, oh, but I've got a radio with two outputs, or I've got two radios that I want to connect up and stuff. Could you make a duel? So sure enough, here's the duel. It does exactly what this thing does, but two independent circuits in here. So you can use this with your new amplifiers with two outputs, or you can put two radios on it, and of course two antennas and Alpha Delta switches and all that stuff too. So, um, uh, I, I had a guy, uh, it was TI5W, I think it was, or TI, no, TI7W, down in, in Costa Rica. He bought seven of these, and the next week I came out with this, and he got mad at me that I didn't have this. <laughs> okay, so anyway, so, so this is the toy, and it works great, and uh, we sell a lot of them, and uh, we have dealers, uh, HRO, uh, 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 DX Engineering, uh, and in Europe we have dealers too. And I didn't know that Europe had a lot of, of lightning, but they still buy these things. Well, Dan, what I'll do is I'll put some links down in the description of the video. Okay. Uh, I'll get those from you off camera here, and then uh, that way everybody can find them, whether they're in Europe or whether they're here in the okay. States. Okay. And then what's your website? It is paradanradio.com. Uh, okay. One, one word, Paradan Radio. Dot com. Okay, and I'll put that down in the description below. Okay. Okay. Man, thank you so much for taking the time this morning You're welcome. and walking us through this and explaining exactly what thank it does. Thank you, Jason. It's a pleasure, and I uh, hope to see you that video soon. Looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Guys, thank you for tuning in today. We will see you on the next one. And 73. Until then, 73. I did it too. Fantastic. <laughs> great, great, great.